Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Brian and Jim with Drink a Beer and Play a Game. And today we're checking out Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance on the PS2 and Xbox. Originally released in 2002, this was developed and published once again by Midway. This has the distinction of being the first Mortal Kombat game to be released without an arcade port first. This came out on the PS2, the Xbox, the GameCube, and it had two different versions on the Game Boy Advance. This game was basically a really important game for the series if you think about it. Maybe not story-wise, but definitely gameplay-wise, as it introduced a lot of things that we'll see later on. Jim, how can you say it's not important to the story? They killed Liu Kang! Was it this one? Uh, I don't know, that was stupid anyway. I can't wait to get the zombie Liu Kang. <laughs> Lol. God damn it. When looking at the graphics on any PS2 fighting game, it's tough because what do you have to compare it to? You have Tekken, you have Virtua Fighter, but for us, this game looks pretty goddamn good. This is one area where me and Jim disagreed just a little bit. See, for me, I don't look at Mortal Kombat as a game that's going to have a lot of bright colors like the games I just mentioned. It's going to be dark, it's going to have a lot more just grays and blacks, and I'm fine with that. But putting the color palette aside, there is a shit ton of detail on each character, there's a whole lot of shit going on in the background, and each animation for all the special moves is unique in one way or another. Plus, they add in some varying camera angles. Considering this is the first true 3D game, I'm pretty goddamn impressed with it. And the only reason it's not really perfect is because they all seem a little... I don't want to say blocky, I would just say almost like chubby and like too much texture in each person. But other than that, we really enjoyed it, as you see. I gave it an 8 and Jim gave it a 7. I'm probably just gonna add... Hmm... I'll only add one beer, because like I said, it had some tough competition on the PS2, and it still pulled out pretty well. Alright, the sound. Not a bad package here. The voice works fine, nothing I can really bitch about too much, and all the sound effects are good and they do their job. You know me at this point, I'm a big proponent of good music in a game, and the music in this isn't bad, it definitely fits. Just again, it's just kind of boring and forgettable, it's more background noise than anything. Outside of that though, it's a decent package, and the sound definitely doesn't take away from the game at all. So, Brian gave it a 7, I gave it a 6, and let's add... Nah, eh, let's add two beers for the somewhat boring music. The control, surprisingly good. While I didn't really have that many issues with Mortal Kombat Gold, I feel like this one just gets it a little more right. Now, overall, the game definitely has a slower feel, it's definitely more mechanical, and we'll get more into that with gameplay. But, the controls himself, it's really more based around combos, and they're not hard to pull off. Sure, it requires some memorization, but the control never really gets in the way. It might be the tiniest bit unforgiving at points in the later combo sections, but overall, it's fine. And one big thing I have to give this game is that you can seamlessly pick between your three fighting styles mid-fight. All it takes is the L1 button, and it instantly switches, it's great. And each fighting style does make it f each the character feel a little different. I can't exactly put my finger on it. There's something that's keeping it from, say, being a 9 or a 10 as far as control goes. It's really not going to give you any issues at all. We both gave it 8s. We found it to be perfectly fine, definitely above average. And you know what? I'm only going to add one beer in celebration of the three different fighting systems. Alright, so the gameplay. Now, Jim mentioned this briefly, but... This game really did take the franchise in a whole new step. You have full 3D fights now. You're no longer just sidestepping into another plane. You can actually move there. So that was the biggest improvement we saw. In addition, each fighter now has three unique fighting styles. And like Jim said, you can seamlessly switch between them. You have two hand-to-hand -hand and one weapon. It really is nice because it mixed up the monotony of just having your regular characters. It is nice because prior to this, combos were pretty much the same for every character, but now with each character having their own unique fighting style, you truly have a different feel and every character feels very unique. There are two unfortunate things we saw though. What are the things most people love and think of when they think Mortal Kombat? It's fatalities and some kind of cool special move. Now granted, they still do have special moves, but it's kind of sad to see they've kept it at around 3 to 4, and in some cases reducing it down to 2 per character. 
And the biggest disappointment. They reduced down to only one fatality, and they don't even have the courtesy of throwing in stage fatalities. With all that aside, though, this is still a really fun game. You do have your classic ladder or tournament mode, whatever you want to call it, but they also added in a few other nice touches. You have a conquest mode, which in this game, it's really just a tutorial for a specific character as it walks you through how to do all their moves and a whole lot of crazy combos. It's nice and it really allows you to get the feel of each character prior to entering a tournament or playing your buddies. And the other new feature we saw was from the crypt. The best way to describe it is a cache of a whole bunch of extras in a game. Remember kids, this was way before DLC, when companies would just include a shit ton of extra content, but the catch is you had to play the game a whole lot to unlock it. So after you collect X amount of coins, you open up coffins, and it could be artwork, music, alternate characters, costumes, whole bunch of shit. We love something like this, because it just brings you back time and time again to play the game. Other than that, though, it's everything typical out of Mortal Kombat. You have Test Your Might mini games in between, and yeah, we love this game. It still is fun to us, and honestly, the lack of fatalities might have hurt it a little bit, but not to me. So look at our breakdown. I gave it a 10. Jim gave it a 9. At this point, I'm completely in love with Mortal Kombat, so I'm not even going to add a beer. It's not perfect, but it's perfect for me. So let me just keep rolling right into the originality. Like I mentioned in the gameplay, you have a fully 3D game now. You have three unique move sets per character. You have the conquest mode. You have the crypt. These are all things we definitely haven't seen in Mortal Kombat. And really in any other game, yeah, you might have seen it and you can argue timelines of which game came out with it first. But this was all new to us. So it gave a fresh feel. There's not much more for me to say. You can see from the scores, we both gave it nines. We agree. This really felt like a new start for Mortal Kombat. I'm only going to add one beer just because I'm still mad that they should have had more than one fatality per character. Ooh, the replayability. On the face level, this game almost doesn't have a lot of replayability. Sure, you have a decent cast of characters. You can fight through the story with each of them. And, you know, you have the arcade mode, versus mode, practice, whatever. There's conquest mode, which will force you to really kind of play through and master each of the characters. But where it really comes in is with the crypt and with the system of getting combat coins in order to unlock stuff. This is the first game in the series with the crypt, which comes back again and again later on. And it really adds a lot to the single player experience. You can spend hours days, weeks, I mean, it can take you a while to unlock all this stuff. And while not everything in the crypt is going to be gold, it's still cool to have that many unlockables. And in a way, with the three different playstyles per character, it's almost like having three different characters for each character, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean. Anyway, we gave it tens. I don't even need to add a beer. There's just a lot going on in this game. So overall, I know we've been singing this game's praises most of this video, however, Jim and I both agree, it's not perfect. There was little annoyances like the lack of additional special moves or some additional fatalities, but really, that's where the complaints stop. We love that MK was able to seamlessly go into a 3D realm. We know some franchises, such as Street Fighter, were not able to do this so well, and they were willing to take such a risk. It could have really screwed them, but... For us, growing up with this game, we loved it, and it kept us engaged in the Mortal Kombat universe. So as you see, Jim and I, we both gave it 8s. There's not much more to say about this game. When we combined all of our scores, you see it comes out to an 8.3. Doesn't sound that high, but still, for us, that means it's a game we're going to pick up time and time again. As far as the beer pairing is concerned, I'm going to have to go with the Evil Genius Trick or Treat Chocolate Pumpkin Beer. I know I just said a whole lot, but just hear me out. With all the pumpkin beers right around the corner, we wanted to pick a beer that kind of stood out in the crowd and went for something a little different. By no means the best pumpkin beer or even the best Evil Genius Beer, but it's a very solid choice and it would pair really well with a game like this. Because you're not going to be chugging that beer and you're going to more savor the sips while trying to get down all the fighting styles of your fighters. Just give it a try. As always guys, thanks for checking out this video. 
Make sure you check out one of our many other Mortal Kombat videos we've been releasing this month, and keep checking back every day as we're trying to release as much content as possible. Remember, drink your beers and play your games responsibly, guys. Cheers.